To visit all the nodes in a binary tree doing in an order traversal, we start at the root node, in this case it is 8. And we first need to visit all the nodes in the left subtree in order, then we visit the current node, and then we visit all the nodes in the right subtree in order. So we start by visiting the left subtree, then we need to visit here again the left subtree, and then we need to visit the left subtree. Now here the left is null, so we're done visiting the left. So we visit 7. In this case we're just going to print the value. Then we, once we're done visiting the left subtree of 1, we need to visit 1, so we just print it out. And then we go visit the right subtree in order. Now here again we want to visit the left subtree. In this case it's null. So we just visit the current node and then we go visit the right subtree, it's null. So we're done visiting here the right subtree of 1. And we're done visiting the left subtree of 3. So we visit 3 and then we visit the right subtree of 3. Here there is no left subtree so we just visit 5. Then it's right subtree. There is no right subtree so we're done visiting the right subtree of 3. The left subtree of 8. So now we can visit 8. Then we go visit the right subtree in order. So here we want to visit the left subtree, but since there is no left subtree, we're done immediately. So we visit the current node 6. And then we visit the right subtree. First we visit the left subtree. There is no left subtree here, so we print 2. Then the right subtree, there is no right subtree. Then once we're done with the left subtree, we print the current node. And then we go to the right subtree. Since there is no right subtree, we're done. We're done with the right subtree, and we're done with the right subtree, and we, we are done. So in case of this tree, doing in order traversal will produce the following output 7, 1, 4, 3, 5, 8, 6, 2, and 9. This is pretty straightforward to do with recursion. All we need to do is visit the left subtree recursively, then once we're done, visit the current node and then visit the right subtree recursively. Let's look at an implementation of this in C++. So we have a function named in order traversal which takes the root node and the first thing we do we check is root null. In that case we just return. Otherwise we recursively visit the left child. Once we're done visiting the left child we print the value of the root, the current node, and then we simply move to the right recursively and once we're done with that we're done. So let's quickly run through this code on this example tree. So in this case we have root 8. We check is root null. Root is not null. So we call this function recursively passing in the left child of 8 which in this case is 3. 3 is not null, so we go to the left of 3, 1 is not null, we go to the left, which is 7, 7 is not null, we go to the left, the left of 7 this time is null. So when we do this check, this is true, so we return, and so we're done with the left child of 7, and once we're done with the left child, we can print the value. Then we go to the right child. 7 again doesn't have a right child, so we immediately would hit the base case here. So we're done with the left and right child of 7. So we're done with 7. 7 was the left child of 1, so we're done with the left child of 1. And then what we do, we print the value, so in this case 1. Then what we do, we go to the right. So the right child of 1 is 4. 4 doesn't have a left child, so this returns immediately. So we print immediately the value 4. And then we go to the right. 4 doesn't have a right, so we're done. 
and 4 was the right child of 1, so we're done with that. And we're also done with 1, which was the left child of 3. At this point, we can print the 3. And then we move to the right child. 5 doesn't have a left child, so we print the value. And doesn't have a right child. So we're done with the right child of 3. And we're also done with the left child of 8, which is... At this point, we can print 8 and go to the right. 6 doesn't have a left child, so this returns immediately. We print the value and we go to the right. Then we go again to the left and to the left. There is no left, so we print the value. And then we go to the right, there is no right, so we're done with the left of 9. Then we print the 9. And then we go to the right of 9, there is no right, so we're done with the right. And also we're done with the right of 6, which was 9. And we're done with 6, which was the right child of 8. So the final output is 7, 1, 4, 3, 5, 8, 6, 2, 9, which is the in order traversal of the tree. So what is the time complexity here? So if we look at the body of this function, we can see that if we don't count the recursive calls, the amount of work we do is constant. So it's O of 1. So the question is how many calls will there be in total? Well, we move to the left and we move to the right and we do this for every node. So we will visit every node exactly once. And since we do constant amount of work for each, if the number of nodes is n, the time complexity will therefore be O of n. What about the space complexity? Well, we're not allocating any arrays or anything like that. So we use some constant amount of space for every function. But because it's recursive, we're getting deep with recursion. The call stack is increasing in size. So therefore, the space we use will be equal to the maximum depth of the call stack. And in this case, the maximum depth we can reach is the maximum depth of, of the tree because we move to the left, to the right, to left to right and so on as deep as we can and there will be that many calls at the same time so this uh, therefore is the height of the tree and therefore we can say that the space complexity is simply of the height of the tree all right 